creative scrapbookers, if you have found your way to this video, you have likely gotten here through the QR code in the most recent issue of Creative Scrapbooker Magazine, and welcome. Jackie's asked me to share how I've made this slimline card with you all. So without further ado, let's start. My card starts with using the Dilusions journal. Um, I love these journals for the patterned paper that's a starting point if you want to mix media. I also use this often in card making or scrapbooking on its own. So I've chosen this paper here and we'll remove it from the journal. And this will be the background of our card. The base is made using Tonic Studios Perfect Card Stock. I've cut it to eight by eight and a half, which is approximately one third of a sheet of paper in length. And I folded it in half, making it four by eight and a half. For the mat, I'm going to also use the Tonic Studios Perfect Card Stock in black. Actually, it's jet black and cut this down with just a small border around the edge. I'm going to use my scrapbook adhesive Easy Runner Ultra Permanent Adhesive to adhere this down. So again, I'll adhere this onto the mat with the permanent, ultra permanent adhesive. And there's the start of our card. I'm going to set this aside as we work on the next element. So for my gnome house, I have used the Tim Holtz Distress Mixed Media Heavy Card Stock, along with the Dilusions stamp, which is called Down in the Woods, Archival Ink. So I have gone ahead previously and stamped my stamp using the archival ink. Our next step is to cut the image out. I love to use Dina Wakely's gel medium, the soft gel matte medium. If any of the matte medium comes out along the edges, it will dry clear and matte so it doesn't create a shine. Off to the side on paper, add the gel medium. Now, while this is drying, I'm going to show you a couple of the other elements and then we'll start to work to put it together. So the first element we're going to work on is the big title of the card, which was a big hello. I have used the hello die from Stamp Anything. It has become a favorite for card making. It's a perfect size for cards. It comes with the letters as well as the outline. I've used the Tonic Glitter Card in Midnight Topaz, which will play very nice with the color scheme that I'll be working with. And I have a piece of wax paper I always use when I'm die cutting. I layer it above the glitter paper wax paper, then my die, and I run it through my die machine, which I will do off camera. So I've run this through my die cutting machine. You can see the, the pieces come out and cut beautifully. You'll have to remove the layer of wax paper to reveal the glitter. So I have done that, and I've also cut out the outline using a piece of basic white cardstock. And then I have taken my matte media gel, adhered the letters onto the background. You can see it's a scrap piece of paper that I use. I do that all the time. For the sentiment, I'll be using the P-Touch Cube. It is one of my favorite tools in my craft room and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so I have my iPad and I have the, the app that goes with the P-Touch Cube 
and you can create your own label by coming into here selecting text and doing your label and then from there you can save it if i press done and come back home and discard changes you can go to the little folder save labels and i can just press that and then print and when i print it it will ask me the number of copies it will give me cut options um, I usually use the cut marks and this I would turn off, cut the last label because that's not necessarily true. Cut with scissors manually, that I'll turn off because I want the to use the cutter in the printer. Come back here and I would press print and you'll see that It connects to my printer and prints it out. What I like to do is to change a color to a color that will work with my project and I do so with the Chameleon color tone markers. They're an alcohol based marker. I have found that the lighter colors work best for this. From there I would take my, once this is dry, I would take my matte gel medium and put a couple of layers over top of it so that I dull the shine. And then I have a product like this. And from here, I'll take a scrap piece of paper peel the backing off and adhere it to a piece of scrap cardstock and then I take my scissors and then we have our sentiment that will go along with our hello. What I've used is the Dina Wakely Scribble Sticks as a watercolor medium. Just add some water where you want to lay your color and then I just Take my wet brush directly to my scribble stick and then paint with it. And you can see it stays where I've wet. For my mark making, I like to use the Dilusions paint pens and I also like to use the Zebra Click Arts for finer detail work. So um, with my Zebra pen, I would come in and all of these little lines, I like to trace. For these background images, I used a white paint pen. I take the zebra pen in brown and I've made some little cross hatches. I add some washi tape to the bottom. This grounds the house to the car so that it doesn't appear to be floating. I would adhere my hello and then I would put my little title from our gnome to yours. I will wait until my adhesive dries so that I can finish off my edging and my details. Um, but have fun with this. It's a fun technique. It's a little bit time consuming but it is not hard and it's very fun. One other little detail that I did add that I can show you is to the door handle, I put a little dot of Nouveau Drops. Again, it adds some texture. I hope you've enjoyed this card. If you do have any questions, please feel free to ask them. And I hope you try this technique, it's really fun. Thanks.